Okay. So today I'm going to be testing and reviewing some brand new drugstore makeup. I picked up the new Revolution Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation. I also have a new concealer from Revlon and some Milani products. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. You guys, it's time to go back to the drugstore. One of you suggested that I test out the Revolution Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation and I listened and I heard it might be a dupe to the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. Now, I just recently reviewed it I hate to say it, but I love it, but it's super pricey and I always want to find dupes for those products that we just can't afford. And I can't wait to test it out on our mature skin. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I don't know about you, but it is freezing here. It is 33 degrees out and I thought it would be a good day to test out a good serum foundation, but I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin with the L'Oreal Prime Lab 24 Hour Pore Minimizer. So let's go ahead and put some on the back of my hand while we read the statistics on the Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation. I just like how it sounds. It comes in 20 shades and it retails for $14. Now, I don't have a lot of good luck with Revolution foundations and concealers. I think I reviewed the In Real Life Foundation, didn't care for it. I thought it was a little too cakey. So when they came out with this Skin Silk, it sounds right up my alley. Now it boasts light to medium coverage. You can build it up. It also provides a radiant satin finish. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do have normal to dry skin. I have hyperpigmentation, fine lines, redness, and yeah, so woo, now. But somebody had mentioned that it's supposed to be the dupe to this and I will let you know at the end of the video if this is even close to the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation by Laura Mercier. But As you can see, it's very serum-y. It lives up to its claims of being a serum foundation. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the middle of my face. Now you can use a beauty sponge or foundation brush. I'm just gonna heat it up with my fingertips to get an even distribution on my complexion. Immediately it feels very silicone-y. Now the second ingredient of the Skin Silk is dimethicone. In fact, it is loaded down with a lot of silicone. So if you are one that likes that slippery feel, you are gonna love this foundation. It is super slippery, super satiny. And it's just soaking into my skin really quickly. It is definitely light coverage. I'm gonna try applying it to a Kabuki brush. And this is just my Sigma F40. And apply it on the brush and then see if we get a little bit more coverage this way. Ooh. Of course, you're gonna get a little streakiness. I think this is a better method of, of application. And then once you apply it, just stipple it in you definitely get more coverage when you use a brush. But look how glowy it is. They were not kidding about a radiant satin finish. And I think it's so pretty during the winter time. You want your skin to glow instead of being all dry and crusty because it's still so cold out. What happened to Pugsatani Phil, man? Or spring. But yeah, this looks so much better with the brush. It's amazing how different it appears on the skin with different types of application. Look how glowy this side is. And then look at this side. Big difference, right? So I'm gonna try to get the rest off the back of my hand and see if we can try to build up that coverage. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put on just a wee bit more. So I like this method. And I just put a tiny baby pump on the back of my hand, do the same thing and then try to build it up so this side matches that side. Oh, this is pretty. It does feel very similar to the Laura Mercier. I still feel like this side looks better for whatever reason, because I think applying it straight away with your Kabuki brush onto your complexion just gives it more coverage, more glow, but still, it still looks very pretty. Look how nice that looks. All right, should I try a little bit more? Ew. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a little bit more and dab it in. This is definitely buildable coverage. Okay, now we're even Steven. That looks good. Oh my goodness. 
I did pick the wrong shade at first. I did select F8, but it was way too dark. And that's kind of a huge difference between F6 and F8 way too dark i don't know but this seems to be a little bit more adaptable now remember skin tints and serum foundations should be a little more forgiving and flexible on the skin but even if you do get a foundation that's a little too light for your skin you can always deepen it up with bronzer blush but yeah this looks really pretty very glowy and very radiant now for concealer i'm not sure if this, if this is new or not you let me know down in the comments it's from revlon it's their color stay flex wear full cover concealer i'm always leery about full coverage concealers because they tend to look a little cakey this contains hyaluronic acid as well as vitamin e it retails for 12.99 and it comes in 16 shades now i picked up the shade light medium unfortunately it's a little mm, a little too deep but let's take a look at what she looks like and it also includes the ingredient clay clay and the first thing that comes to mind is dried up clay and cracking and cakiness but we're gonna give this a shot we're gonna try it out it's supposed to be flexible and supposed to move with your skin and typically I will go in with a color corrector but since this is full coverage I'm not gonna rely on that I'm gonna I'm gonna rely on this concealer so as you can see, the doe foot is quite huge. And I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit right in the corner of my eye and right through there. Now, one thing I noticed about this Skin Silk from Revolution, it's not really covering up my redness. I'm just gonna color it right there. It is much thicker than a lot of my concealers that I tend to gravitate towards. It does feel thick, but the coverage, man, the coverage is insane. You won't need a color corrector if you use this concealer. And if you're one to like full coverage concealers, I think this is this is one for you. Plus it's affordable. Now I ordered this off of Amazon, but I'm sure you can pick it up at any drugstore. And the shade is not too bad. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer brush and just tap that in and blend it out. Ooh. Yeah, it kind of made me leery when it says it contains clay. That scares me. But as you can see, it is blending out beautifully. And if you feel like it's a little too thick, you can always take your dampened beauty sponge. And this is just extra insurance for me. Because it's a thicker consistency, I like to thin it out with a dampened beauty sponge and just pick up the excess in case I put on a little too much. So this is always a good method, especially with a thicker consistency of concealer. Serum foundation is on, concealer is on. I do feel like it's kind of heavy under the eye area, but the, the skin silk feels really lightweight, really comfortable. It doesn't feel as tacky or sticky as it did upon first application. It still has a nice little glow to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of warmth back into the complexion with bronzer. And since this is a makeup product from Revolution, you know I'm gonna go in with their Ultra Cream Bronzer in light. You know, this is one of my all-time favorite cream bronzers. It's so affordable. It looks great on the skin. Ooh, I might've put too much. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add some more warmth and see how seamlessly it blends out. And since this is a cream bronzer, it's really gonna have a little more longevity. I like cream bronzers, more cream products during the winter time because my skin tends to run a little dry. So I like to add that hydration back into the skin. Once it gets summertime and it's super hot out and humid here in Tennessee, I tend to gravitate towards more powder products like powder blush, powder bronzer, setting powders to set everything in place. But when it's cold, I need all the hydration I can get. So that's why I love cream products during the cold weather. Are you guys feeling the brunt of winter? I know spring is just around the corner, but yeah, I mean, the days are definitely getting a little bit longer. I don't know. I'm the type of person that gets affected if there's not enough sun out. I think it's that, what, sad uh, seasonal affective disorder. I'm probably saying it wrong, but I really rely on the weather. I don't know why. If it's sunny out, I'm in a good mood. If it's cloudy, ugh, I just want to crawl back into bed and go to sleep. But now that we have the bronzer on, this looks great with that skin silk. Look how pretty that blended in. Okay, now for blush, everybody's hyped this up, including myself, the cooling water jelly tint from Milk. 
You guys, I love this so much. Not only is it fun, but it really is beautiful on mature skin. It's that jelly tint, and this is in the shade Chill. I reviewed it last week and I can't stop using it because not only is it fun to apply, but it really does stain your cheeks and your lips and it just lasts all day. It doesn't add any texture and I like the red blush. It's actually kind of fun to wear. It's not like a bright red, but it does provide a beautiful luminosity to the skin and I use it. I use my fingertips. That's the only way I use it. I don't need a brush and it just looks so radiant, plump, and juicy on the skin. Of course, it has that cooling effect. I've been wearing this as a stain too, with just a little gloss on top of it, and it lasts all throughout the day. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I know, I know, I can't help it, I can't help it. I love it, it's so pretty. But I did pick up a new lip stain from Milani, and we're gonna be testing that out today. It's supposed to last eight hours, but it's also supposed to be hydrating as well. Anyway, so yeah, this is the Cooling Water Jelly Tint in Chill, but this is the complexion so far. What do you think? I think right now the concealer is probably going to cake up on me. In fact, I've been testing this out for the last few days and it looks great at first, but we're going to do some check-ins. I'm going to show you at the end of the day what it looks like, but so far that full coverage is really covering up my dark circles. It's kind of smoothed it out, but remember we applied just a tiny bit. We applied it with the brush and then we tapped it out with the Damp and Beauty Blender just to thin out that consistency. But so far, the skin is looking great. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the rest of my makeup and then we're gonna dive into the Color Fetish Hydrating Lip Stain from Milani. Mm. Eyes are done. I just went in with the LA Girl Keep It Playful Eyeshadow Palette. This is a nine pan eyeshadow palette, all neutrals, all smoky colors, and this is the color story, Downplay. This is so beautiful and so affordable. I went in with three shadows, this light shade all over the lid, and then I put this second shade in the crease, and then just to smoke it out, this deep, dark chocolate brown on the outer thirds of my eye, and just smoked it out. But I'm ready to test out the Milani Color Fetish Hydrating Lip Stain. Now this retails for $13.99, and it comes in six shades, and I got the shade that's fire. It's a bright crimson red and man, I can't wait to test this out. It comes with a little doe foot. Basically, this is a hydrating lip stain. So it's not technically a lipstick. So once you apply it, you can tap it in and leave it as a stain and it's supposed to last for eight hours, but it's also supposed to be hydrating at the same time. It contains ingredients like hyaluronic acid to provide that moisture throughout the day. But let's go ahead and apply it. As you can see, it's got a really nice precise doe foot. I've actually been enjoying wearing stains recently, like the Milk Cooling Jelly Tint as a stain, and just throwing some gloss, because I know it's not gonna fade, it's just gonna stay all day long, but you still have that lip color, that lip stain. And with a lip stain, it doesn't show all the lines in your lips. I mean, technically we all have lines in our lips, but for some reason, a stain just makes your lips look so smooth and, and just smooth and seamless. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply the Milani Color Fetish Hydrating Lip Stain. I'm gonna go in like that. It's very watery, very thin, and I'm trying to be precise. Ah. And, oh boy. So if this stains, you need to be accurate when you're applying it. Now, when you first apply it, looks juicy, looks shiny. Obviously, that's not gonna last all day because as people, we drink, we eat, but the beauty of this, it's supposed to last eight hours as a stain. I'm gonna go ahead and just tap it in and see what it looks like as a stain. Oh, that's better. Once you tap off the excess, but I mean, I'm sure if you wanna keep that juiciness and shininess going, it's not gonna last all day, but I wanna see how it stains. Do you remember watching your mom apply lipstick and she would do this? Oh, brings back so many memories. 
So here we are with the final look. You see how pretty the lips look now after we blotted them? It is leaving a little bit of pigment, well, a lot of pigment, but it's not as intense or as vivid. Now, if you want to put a little gloss or oil on top of it, I'm sure you could to, to make it look juicier but I love how it's just kind of a blurred lip look. I did pick up a new Juicy Lip Oil from Too Faced. Now I know that's not drugstore, but I've heard so much about these lip oils going around and you know me, I love a good lip oil. If I could just live in lip oil, I would. But these come in so many different shades and scents. It's supposed to be a juicy lip oil, like a hybrid. But this is the one from Too Faced, the Kissing Jelly Gloss, and I got it in the scent or shade Sour Watermelon. And I wanted to see what it looked like on top of the Color Fetish lip stain. But I have to warn you, this has intense fragrance. The first time I smelt it, I was like, whoa, that is strong. But see how cute it is. I mean, it's cute. I may pass this off to Ava because she loves lip oils, lip gloss, but let's see what it looks like on top of the Color Fetish. Oh my God, this smells so strong. You know what? After a while, it does smell pretty good. It's like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. But see, if you want that glossy, glossy look, you can throw on a lip oil just to revive that color. Beautiful. Let's assess the complexion. I'm really liking the Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation from Revolution. I think it's really pretty on the skin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out in natural daylight. We're gonna see how this wears all day long, especially the tint as well as the foundation. And I have high hopes for this. This is definitely promising. I like it. What do you think? Okay, it's been about three hours since I first applied the Silk Skin Serum Foundation. And I know, disappointed it's already starting to break up around my mouth area, especially right through there. And oh, the concealer is creasing something bad already. I'm super disappointed in the concealer more than I am with the foundation. Foundation feels really silky, still lightweight. I think if I used less, it wouldn't separate so much. I'm not sure but it still looks really pretty. It still looks really smoothing and hydrating, but yeah, it's this troublesome area that I have right through here. Definitely breaking up, but yeah, this concealer, it has clay in it and it's doing exactly what I was afraid it would do. Crack really poorly under the eyes right through here. It almost feels like it's, makes you look older. It looks great at first, like I love the coverage and everything, but it's super drying. Even though I tried to thin out the consistency with the Dampen Beauty sponge, it's still quite thick and heavy under the eye. Dang it. But yeah, this is just three hours in. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure about this, but this is at three hours. And we're back. It's been over eight hours since I first applied the Makeup Revolution Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation, as well as the Revlon Colorstay Flexwear Full Cover Concealer. And I have to say, <laughs> it was a long, bitterly cold day here in Tennessee. I really put it through the test. I went outside, the nose was running. It was just really, really cold. I'm ready for spring and i'm ready to give you my thoughts on this serum foundation now remember it retails for 14 dollars and it comes in 20 shades i picked it up at ulta and i'm in the shade f6 you know what it's not bad it's actually very pretty i love the light to medium coverage it's definitely buildable it did Yes, cake up a little bit around this area through here. It did separate quite a bit, but again, we didn't do any touch-ups today and you can just take a brush or even your finger and tap it in. My skin, my complexion is a little shiny, but not too bad. I think even though it was slightly humid here today and it does get humid when it gets cold, my oils were really intact. I don't know if it was the combination of the primer or the serum foundation, 
but I think this is really, really pretty. Now, as far as the Color Fetish Hydrating Lip Stain from Milani, it's beautiful. It's very glossy at first, but you do have that option to blot it so you can have that beautiful stain on your lips. I think it's beautiful. It definitely lasted eight hours, and I had nachos, I had breakfast, I had scrambled eggs with hash browns, coffee, water. It really held in there strong. It's beautiful when you first apply it, and and it really wears off gracefully. Let's talk about the concealer. Oh my gosh, the Revlon Colorstay Flex Wear Full Cover Concealer. This retails for $12.99 and it comes in 16 shades. Hard pass, you guys, hard, hard pass. As you can see in this picture, this was probably an hour after I first applied it. It was already sinking into my lines. It's it just, it was disappointing. It's got that clay in it. I don't know why they put clay in it. I guess maybe for full coverage. It does cover up dark circles. You won't need a color corrector with this concealer. I'm just disappointed because it did settle into those lines under my eyes. It felt heavy. I'm gonna keep playing with this. This would be great for spot concealing, but as far as the under eye area, it's going to make you look aged. It's going to <laughs> really sink into those fine lines. And I think, my fine lines aren't that bad given my age, but man, it really, I don't know what happens. It was like sinking into craters, man. You can really tell and it doesn't improve with time. It just, it may look good for like the first half hour, but all of a sudden it just kind of sinks into those delicate lines in your under eye area, but very disappointing. But thrilled about the Makeup Revolution Skin Silk. This is fantastic. Thank you so much for suggesting this. As far as the Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation, is it comparable to the Laura Mercier Real Flawless? I'll tell you what, the pros of this, absolutely affordable, 20 shades. The shade range could be a little bit better. This definitely has more shades. It comes in 30 shades. There's something just so beautiful about the Laura Mercier. It definitely has the same silicone feel. Both of them have that silicone feel. They both provide light to medium coverage. However, I think this one lasted a little bit longer than the Makeup Revolution. They're both beautiful, but if you're on a budget, definitely try out the Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's very smoothing, very hydrating, and yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So those are my thoughts on these drugstore makeup products that we tested out today. What do you think? Are you thinking about picking up the Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation from Makeup Revolution? I mean, this is the first foundation or complexion product that I've tried that I've actually really liked. I was not a fan of their in real life foundation or their concealer, but this is quite good. So I definitely recommend it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun and I hope you did too. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. But for now, mwah. Mahal kita. I love you and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.